Question number one. What are the ways to prevent green tobacco sickness? Number two. The proper amount of water a worker needs to drink every day is A, one to one and a half liters, B, two to two and a half liters, or C, three to three and a half liters. Number three. Which of these conditions are symptoms of green tobacco sickness? A. Nausea. B. Headache. C. Blindness. D. Muscle cramps. E. A bloody nose. As a child, I grew up on a tobacco farm in North Carolina. I helped transplant it, which is set the tobacco out and also then helped top the tobacco, which is breaking the flower in the top out. Um, that can definitely be a hot, sticky job. Uh, and then also as a child, I was probably 12, 13 years old, I trucked the tobacco, which is actually drive the tractor in the field while the farm workers are priming the tobacco, breaking the leaves off, and then placing them on the trailer. Uh, and then the trailers are taken up to the barn and the tobacco is barned or prepared for curing. I did not ever have green tobacco sickness. Um, that was actually not something I learned about until truly I was in medical school and then even more um, experience with working in the clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen green tobacco sickness in other folks that come into the clinic to be seen. So oftentimes they come in and it is truly a combination of heat stress, dehydration, and to some degree green tobacco sickness. Mm -hmm. They can have symptoms of nausea, vomiting, headache, muscle cramps, aches, and just feel bad in general. Green tobacco sickness is simply nicotine exposure to handling the green tobacco. Mm -hmm. Nicotine is an oily, clear substance that's contained in tobacco and it can be absorbed into the body in three basic ways. One, it can be absorbed into the body through the skin, mm -hmm. and this would occur when people are working in, toba in the tobacco field. They're breaking the leaves, priming, or picking the tobacco. It, it can be absorbed through the lungs if they smoke cigarettes or cigars, and it can also be absorbed through their mouth if they're chewing tobacco. Mm -hmm. What we've seen here in the clinic is that oftentimes when the tobacco is wet, with either rain or dew or simply sweat from the worker's body that the nicotine can more easily be absorbed into the body and then they may have the physical effects of green tobacco sickness. And again, some of those physical effects are like nausea, vomiting, dizziness, headache, muscle cramps, and general fatigue or not feeling well. Folks that have no exposure to nicotine are at a higher risk for green tobacco sickness. If someone smokes or chews tobacco, then they've had uh, exposure to nicotine and they're less likely to get the green tobacco sickness. If someone is truly naive and has never worked in tobacco before, then they may be more sensitive to the nicotine in the green tobacco that can be absorbed into their skin. The best advice for a new worker in green tobacco would simply be to know that green tobacco sickness exists and then you can protect yourself from green tobacco sickness. Importantly, um, wear gloves, wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, and also wear water resistant clothing to help prevent that nicotine from touching your skin and then being absorbed into the skin. Take an extra set of clothes to the field if you're really wet uh, then change clothes, wash your clothes after working in the fields, make sure you take a shower immediately after working in the fields, wash your hands and arms often. These are all things they can do to prevent the nicotine from being absorbed into their skin. When we see folks in the clinic, a lot of times they will, like I said, have a, a component of green tobacco sickness and dehydration as well as heat stress. Drink lots of water and stay well hydrated when working in tobacco and when, when working in the fields in general. The proper amount of water would generally be two to two and a half liters of water per day. This is an example of a two liter container, so you would need at least this and then maybe half of this container again. And then also drink 
Gatorade, Powerade, sports drinks that have electrolytes. Mm -hmm. And that's one way in which you can stay well hydrated. When we see folks in the clinic, we tell them, please don't drink high caffeine, sugary drinks, because these are not replacing the water or minerals that you need when you're working in the fields, sweating, uh, and your body simply consuming the liquid you have. Question number one. What are the ways to prevent green tobacco sickness? You can prevent green tobacco sickness by wearing protective clothing, such as gloves, long sleeve shirts, long pants, and water-resistant clothing. After working in the tobacco field, take a shower and wash your clothes. Number two. The proper amount of water a worker needs to drink every day is A, one to one and a half liters, B, two to two and a half liters, or C, three to three and a half liters. The answer, the proper amount of water to consume each day would be from two to two and a half liters. In addition, it is helpful to drink sports drinks that have electrolytes. In that way, you can stay well hydrated. Number three, which of these conditions are symptoms of green tobacco sickness? A, nausea. B, headache. C, blindness. D, muscle cramps. E, a bloody nose. The answer, nausea, headache, and muscle cramps are all symptoms of green tobacco sickness. Other symptoms could include skin rash, general fatigue, chills, salivation, and increased sweating.